Right, that's me. Make sure our Leanne gets rid of Baldwin. I was asleep then. Oh no! I'll kill that bloody cock. Another day, another donging, Devendra. Danny, you've pissed him, Ben. You were worse than me when you got home. Oh, I wouldn't know, love. Look, Janice got twatted by Sally last night, so you might have to say something. I'm not arsed, and nor should I be. I'm just saying, Sally might swing the lead today, and you've been upset as an excuse. Do as a bacon sarny, will you? Danny! I'm absolutely fucking fuming, Kevin. I told you it weren't me! I know, and I stood by you the whole time, so you don't need to plead your case to me. Are you sure it were less? Yes, because Fizz texted me after I smacked Janice and told me so. She's felt sorry for me and you, so not everyone was against us. Well, it felt like it. Well, Les is going to get a piece of my mind, the lousy bastard. And you can stay here. I'm not having you fighting in the streets if I can help it. Yeah, well, I'm going to. It was me that suffered all through this. Me that was fighting and smashing the valley, and whilst you sat here like a lazy five o'clock shadowed twat. Whatever makes you up here. Girls, you're going to be late for school. Stop dicking about and come and get your breakfast. That hairy-faced little prick has urinated on my George Eliot's middle march. You think that's acceptable, I suppose. Oh, we don't give a fuck. And it's not like we've not had to clean up your mess before now. Just wind your neck in. Look, will you just go upstairs and give us an hour without your face? It's a bit of fucking respect too much to ask. You know damn well I've got more respect for the dog. We have to clean up after him more than you, don't we, Eccles? I've got a nice bit of pork fillet for you in the fridge. Fuck off! I'm having that for my tea and woe betide if I don't. Oh, shut up, Ken. Thank you. Thank you for warning me so I can hide it. You'll digest it better than you will. You can have the win a lot. Oh, I can, can I? Sorry, I failed to see how an old fossil like you dictates. This is my house, and you're a guest. Me and Eccles are here to stay, aren't we? We won't listen to the whinging cunt. David, that's my toast. Yeah, cheers. Oh, Mummy's a bellend. David, don't wind the bitch up. It's a laugh, isn't it? You ready for your first day? I'm ready to tell people they've shit in the future, defo. Filthy bastard. What are you doing belting our Janice? She asked for it and you'll be next. If, if I want to show love in that way, it's my business. You think you're a court above? Well, you're not, lady. Fucking sad at you, Les. Who are you calling Get sad? Get your hands off me. You've ruined my chances with Jan. It'll be me swinging if you don't watch it. Oh, go and watch Men and Motors, you muppet. Lousy cow. Get off me. Oh, dickhead. Oh, it's you. You fucking right it is. Fuck off. I shall punch your teeth out for all this. Everyone blame me for your mess. Well, I didn't, Kevin. We've already discussed this. You shut your fat mouth. And you, you're just like her. Knocking folk about any chance yeah, you get. Yeah, we do. And I'll do it again. With me knob if I have to! Oh, he's threatening me. I'm pissing myself. I'm fucking sick of this bollocks! Look, Kevin, not in the street. Right, well you can do me a fry up! I I'm so excited about this exhibition today. I absolutely leathered Haley with the Gardener's Weekly this morning. Did you have her over your knee? W well, I tried, but she kept running away, so eventually I settled for bashing her about the head and upper torso. I, I think it's lowered morale somewhat, unfortunately, which, w which wasn't the intention, I can assure you. Archie once tried that on me. I do confess to being rather psychotic when I'm preparing for the arts, and, and Haley is often in the path of the Roynado. I remember when Deirdre were little, she went to bed at six o'clock so I could shovel fellas through door to filth fall. Is your Jack in the exhibition then, Vera? Well, he's promised he's not on display, ain't he? They've got a special one of me and him to show off. It says here, tasteful and arousing expressionism with only a hint of smart. Only a hint? What's point in going? I want to see if there's any phallic reason why you put up with that ale swilling fatty. Blanche, really? Hey now, just fuck off, yo! Just because Jack had 400 quid off your Dave Smith at Cheltenham, you act like a bitter old fuck. Blonde twat. He's not the star of the show. 
We're all going for free wine and mucky paintings. If you and Maria don't be careful, I mean, well, I promise, I'll pay somebody to shoot you both. You won't though, will you, my darling? I'm sick of it. I get shit at home with David and then you when I come into work. You bring it on yourself. Tell me how. Fuck me, mutton dressed or what? Have a sugar daddy, haven't I? Ugh. Why did you lock Kirk out at house last night, eh? Did I? Oh, I left the key in, sorry. Oh, you sorry? He ended up coming round mine and he knows it's me power till night. I told him three nights a week, but Thursday is Anton Deck. All right, you sad bitch, calm down. You didn't want him in the house, did you? Well, I'm going to find out what you're up to. What the fuck were all that, Maria? Hmm? Oh, she's a bad-tempered fucking doughball. I feel awful for our Kirk. Look, all this bad atmos isn't doing my plants any good, my love. Yeah, well, she's just pissed off because Janice up sticks last night and she texted out on me. She's lucky our Kirk looks twice at her. It's a grotty pub, this. It'll do. I suppose it's not a brawl for all like the Rovers at the moment. I'm a bit afraid about this wedding because I look shit in dresses. Do it when out on. It's coming winter. You might firm me up, but now tells. What do you suggest, then? Be engaged forever. Bollocks. Is that what I'm talking? Aye. Thank God. I knew I was, you know. That's refreshing. We don't have to have a bloody Charles and Diana do. I'd be happy with registry office and, well, sausage rolls in Rovers. Well, they'd be from Elliot's, obviously. All of it. Rejects. They don't deserve the good stuff. They've had enough parties, I say enough. We've thrown too many for them. It's getting like a fucking soup kitchen, is that boozer? No, I had Betty's hot pot for dinner, so I'm off for a cag. Hey, Ailey, long time no sick. I've got a big do to go to, Becky. I know, and I guess that's why the cafe's shut, right? But, well, just don't go in there because I've had some mates in. We only shut door an hour ago, and you've been in there slobbing about. We just had a smoke, but it got out of hand, and it weren't me, I promise. If you've damaged anything, it'll be me, not Roy, that drags you over the cobbles by your nipple rings. If I find anything broken in there, you're for it. But don't you forget that. Well, just... Go to that do now. You don't need to get ready, you look fine. No, I'm already late and I'm supposed to be meeting Roy there. Now fuck off back to your hostel or wherever it is you spend your time. Fucking hell, what's that racket? Ah, now if I'm right in saying, I believe it's Beethoven but played backwards through the anus of a hippopotamus. Ac according to the programme. Well, it sounds like number one's bathroom. Well, I'll freely admit it creates a somewhat wretched atmosphere. Fucking horrible. Bursting me bloody eardrums, is that? If it isn't the Duckworth. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, it's you. It's a nice building, this, but this music's fucking horrendous, love. This, you know I wore this suit at the opening of the Ribble Steam Railway Museum. This is an artist's mecca. A place where the lewd and the unfortunate are indigenous to. Where the crass belong. I'll leave her here, then. Who the fuck are you? Oh, oh yes. R Roy Cropper. I'll be sending my dry cleaning bill, naturally. We don't need clothes. Are we not all nude beneath? Sorry? You worry about the screen when it is the degradation and disgrace projected that matters. Uh, j just be quiet, please. Oh, I shan't be silent. And if you wish not to be thrown out in front of these entrepreneurs here, you'll adapt at once. Vera. How would you fancy a bit of that? That's too bloody big for me. Ah, but what if I told you that the whole length is filled with vodka? Oh, I like that. Of course, and that's the idea behind it. You see, Mr. Cropper, Vera looked at the exterior. She didn't question its depth. Ah, but I'm wasting time here. I'm here for the piss-up, as are you. Yeah, but what about our portrait? It's up there behind the big curtain. The creme de la month of the evening. The main event, if you will be so patient. I gather you've had a gobful of that phallus already. Oh, many times and then some. But who cares, eh? Come on. We're all here because we're all terrible deviants who'll probably end up being poked up the arse in hell. You see, right, that's why this isn't something to be sniffed at. What the fuck are them? The pig's dicks wrapped in kale. 
Too much cock under this roof. I need myself a drink before I change my mind. Oh, now that'll do very nicely, will that? Do you think they'd mind if I had a suck on this? I'm not believing this. Fire spreads quick. So it was? Definitely a cigarette? Well, yeah, we're thrown onto the counter. Caught the tea towel and, well, chain reaction. Wankers! Well, you should lock your door when you go to the chemist. It was an hour. That's all it takes. You into anything dirty? Hey, my Jack works here as a model, so it makes us more important than poxy servants. The models in their own way. If some of the shit here is classed as art, then I guess fellas like Jack truly are unique. You want your egg kicking off? Bored out of me menge here. You've to wait for our picture, haven't you? As if it isn't enough seeing the real thing. Mother. Fucking crusty old doddery. I'll show you some art in a minute, prick. Vera, uh, you should have a look at this one. Yeah, well, Jacks have more dignity than that. See, Haley thinks I'm being daft, but it says here, the more masculine the form, the more masculine the reaction, i.e. an erection, an urge to penetrate the subject. No, no, that's bollocks, Roy. I don't want to shag that. He wouldn't shag out any more. He's too afraid of the consequences. Your picture isn't like that, is it? Is it fuckers like? Thank Christ for that. It'd be like two giant condoms filled with rice pudding. Look any more shit from you, and so help me, I'll fucking flatten you. Just bloody try it. I'd reckon these lunatics would pay handsomely to watch two old bastards rolling about. It's the first night, mother. A fight and a flying up pot. Police him before we've even had our names over at door. Well, we're shutting the curtains tonight for cards. Selfish twat. I'm part management. So you won't be the cocktail waitress? No! Well, shit, I guess it'll have to be a bottle on the table then. Flipping self-service during a serious game. You listen to me, Steve. You better start running that fucking place, do you hear me? You're a grown man. If I see your brain-dead mates in here tonight, I'll cut their cocks off. Jesus, mother. I don't know why you're so jumpy. You wanted to be centre of attention. Hello, you two. I'm dead excited, you know. Not far off now. I hope so. It's fucking rubbish here. Well, there's some very interesting paintings in the next room. No, no, we needn't bother with that shit. Well, it's just those ones we discussed where you got hold of it and... Listen, love, you're very pissed. Now zip it and knob off somewhere else. We had an arrangement that you're clearly and drunkenly forgetting. I don't know, Jack. There was a painting of a nude gorilla I was actually very interested in studying. No! Oh, I'm sure we'd like to see the many hideous varieties they have over I there. I said no! Well, I like monkeys. I'm having a look. For fuck's sake! What's up with you? It's not good for you. Why? Well, the thing is, you see, you, you like monkeys off the telly, don't you? Yeah, like on Attenborough. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, those ones, you see, they're dead ones. Dead monkeys? They're all decaying and bloated and ugly and not at all cute. You deserve better, my swamp duck. That's disgusting. I know. Fucking vile. You lot are a bunch of fucking wrongans. Bloody necrophiles, lot of you. Come on, that's enough. I don't know about you, Norris, but seeing Jack tugging off isn't on. I can't believe he got paid to do all that in... I don't know where Haley is, but I'm glad she's not seeing this. Well, isn't this what you wanted for her? Good God, no. I am aware her clients might be similar. I don't know how much more I can take. I wish they'd unveil this rotten picture so we can get gone. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm shit-faced. So fair dues. I've seen far too much of Jack's dick. More than he has. An inspiring couple, the Duckworths, screaming out to be captured. On canvas, not in the way you lot are accustomed. Look at them both. Their majesty of common class misery and ripe for the artist's brush. And as a thank you to Vera for allowing us Jack's body, it's nothing special, but it's the best we could do. Gold out of mould. A pair of wretched make-doers with optics on their living room wall. You may all be budding pimps, prozies and fiends. Without a reminder of the ordinary, how can we be extraordinary? The Duckworths. <gasps> oh, oh, Jack! Okay, well, I look like Princess Diana.
Well, if she were in a Punch and Judy show. Oh, I'm right, chuff. Right, well, let's go for a pint then. Not yet. That's a bit more tasteful, Jack. That's enough, Blanche. Better than the live action shots. Shut the fuck up, Blanche. After what I've seen, I feel like phoning Samaritans. Hang on, did she get me dimples in? I'm begging you. Keep your gums shut. Don't let her see the wank pictures. I'll get the first three rounds in. Jack! Come here, you! Mum says no cards tonight. All oh, right, well, we didn't sell much ale. That's because you don't have any charm. We what went on last night it scared folks off, didn't it? It's your fault. Oh, is it? You're supposed to get the customers horny. Um, I'm not flashing to sell your lousy beer. <sighs> Just fuck off. I'll send you P45 through. Oh, nice. Oh, by the way, while I think about it, somebody shit its sink and that's a clientele you want me to seduce. So yeah, night. Go away. Well, thanks for a pointless afternoon, Jack. I'm off home to self-destruct. Right, yes, yes uh, me too. I'll twat Haley for not showing. You'll forget about the wank shot, say. <sighs> Damn it, sorry. Where's Vera? I think she might have wandered into masturbation alley. He's got a funny shape, willy, hasn't he? Well, he's not for using it much. Well, I guess that with the fact he was doing it in first place. Well, it was to get a few quid, you know. He's very good at sitting there doing now. Well, as long as he's still useful with his hands, he tends to swap, I find, when he gets cramped. You know what? Well, you've got to exercise both arms if you're having a bash for an hour, haven't you? Having a bash with you? With himself. He's just slow enough to paint along to. If you don't start making sense, I'm going to kick you in snatch. He likes to go for the sideways pull so I can time me brush strokes with it. And because of his gut, he has to lie on his side like a beach whale. It's very natural. That's mine behind you, next to the watercolour. Well, I've made enough money for them this now, so I can go back to relying on the GGs for a bit. Oh, it makes sense, I think. Well, as long as I've made it out in one piece, that's all I give a toss about. Um, I wouldn't say that. You <gasps> dirty wanker! You've been making a fucking show of yourself in front of a load of geriatrics! You do realise you have to pay for that, and he'll pay. He'll pay with his empty fucking bollocks. Passing this useless lump off his heart, you don't care what you get off on. Go on, get fucking home! Well, that were worth missing me run for. Ashley. What's up with you? Sounds like some happy customers. Can't even get the Vaseline to them. Ah, oh, well, at least that review didn't perturb them to relief. Aye, well, they're getting that. So come on, what are you after? Oh, it's just Fred I was after. Oh, we went to bed after he came home. He's got a gammon convention tomorrow, apparently. Oh, yeah, he mentioned. Oh, fuck him, then. Aye, all the best. Ken's on the toilet. There you go. Damn it! <laughs> He's an horrible bastard, isn't he? Ugh. You know, I wish I'd known this were coming. I'd have gone to Amsterdam with Ray. <laughs> Mind you, I'd have missed all that today. And how can I compete with Dutch window dancers? He only does this when somebody upsets him. You've got a tash like our gym. Bend over. I bet you never got that in Leeds. I got that just going to the post office. <coughs> That's more like it. <coughs> he was fine till Mother told him that Jack had at least done something with his life. That got him. <coughs> he can't admit it. When does it end? But we're both supposed to be average. If there is a god, where the fuck is he? His mountain top was being a teacher. And mine, if I'm sadly honest, was getting a daughter, I think. Tracy, love. It's enough to make anybody shit. Uh.